Black Oak Production slash artist producer. Yeah? We're out here. Just creating things every day, you see me? Right now, you don't know the music, it's the beat of the art, so we keep the music pumping on a daily basis. And you don't know, we learn this thing from the greatest them. So, we have to pursue our music career through the passage of time. See, so right now, you don't know, we're working on all these things. A lot of reggae artists, a lot of rappers, you don't know. So, right now, we just elevation said we building rhythms, we got a little studio, we build our own beats. I'm also building beats for other artists far over. Right now I'm working on an album with Jim Mason and working with a couple of few other artists over in Jamaica there said way. So same with UK, work with some artists so all over the country. So the music's there and we're just keeping it moving said way. It done now. When you make your beats, what yeah. goes into making your beats, man? How do you come up with the process? How do you come up with the ideas? Ideas of making the beats. Do they all just right. come to you in a dream or you know what I'm saying? Like you can just what do we, when I'm making the beats now, more time we just come for vibes. Cheer my artists as well. I'll just be, you know, singing to the music. The music's there and the, the, the melody's there. So I'll just be finding the melody and playing some keys towards it, you know. Because you don't know, we play gig, bass guitar as well. We learn these things from church at a young tender age. And we try to pursue it and combine it with what we're doing now. You see me? So. Two players of instruments, it collaborates with what we're doing in the studio. So we learn certain keys and that's what we really work off of the keys. You see me and we find melody through the keys them and them. That's how we create our beats them. You see me? But Who's that beat it's always there, cause that's the heart. You see me? So that will never for you got that heartbeat, anything can build around that. And that's how we do our thing. Yo man. Who's some of your influences, man? Who's some of the people you look up to? Well, I look up to many people, you know. Mainly the I shit them like Bob Marley, the great Peter Tosh. Through the music, you see me? I respect enough of the producers, them King Jammies. You see me in the reggae scene and you don't know. I'm a man still, I'm, I listen to all kind of music, said we still. So, we rate. All heap of people, there's so much I can't even, you get me right now, you get me, it's just to my brain right now still, but there's many influences still, you see me, so we keep them influences in what we're doing still right now to pursue our music, because you can't forget the veterans them and the eyeshot ones and we're it. you see me, because we never forget, neglect, you see me, because right now we see a lot of youths them neglecting certain parts of the music, certain music that create the music that they're listening to today. A lot of this grime music and drum and bass is built from the base of reggae music. And a lot of the youths them neglect that. And that kind of hurts me today. That's why I have to pursue the reggae music to, a, a, to the fullest. Who's, my, who's, who's picture is that? This is my brother, rest in peace. It's something loving for life still. Yeah, you don't know. It's a life go. You see me? Dropped out still, 2004. But you don't know. With his dropping out, it elevate us more into what we're doing. You see me that we know so certain things we have to stay far from. You see me, my dear, because in this business, there's a lot of snakes. You see me? And the ones that you see are really close to you, they're the ones them that will bite you like a snake. You see me? So right now, through these things there, we learn to trod by ourselves. You see me? Because remember this in life is we one bone and it's we one that is going to leave the earth. You see me? So we try to remember these things and never forget my brother still. Because it taught me many lessons in life and that's kind of elevating me right now to what I'm doing. So rest in peace all the time, you see me? Uh.